Took a little while to get here, but hopefully it's worth it. Hi uh, folks, Steven here with another unboxing. Uh, actually, we have this and then one other thing as a little bonus at the end, but you can probably kind of tell what this is uh, based on what I've been saying on stream and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, this is from VinylDigital.com. Uh, that's a German website. And I uh, picked this up, and it's kind of important for a variety of reasons, but uh, let's get this open and see what's inside. Okay, well, I got the outer packaging open. Uh, let's see what's actually inside of all this. Probably guess. Ah, yes. All right. So yeah, take a look at that. So, as you can probably tell, this is the original motion picture score. It says soundtrack, but really I'd call it a score for Pokemon Detective Pikachu. It looks really nice and, and nicely printed and stuff like that. So a little historical context. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first official piece of Pokemon music on vinyl since probably 2000, maybe 2001, but it's been almost 20 years. This is by the At The Movies Music on Vinyl label. Uh, it's got the little Pokemon logo on top of that. Obviously, it's got Rhyme City. Uh, very similar to other art you've seen there. You can see a little Bulbasaur and Jigglypuff in the building there. You can really make out a lot of details you can't see. Um, that's one of the nice things about vinyl. And yes, as promised on the back, this is pressed onto white vinyl, and they only really needed three sides on this one. So on the back of the uh, second disc, they have a nice little picture of Detective Pikachu on there, and it's a uh, Deerstalker cap. So really nice there. Let's see, I am gonna open this out. Uh, let's see, that apparently there were about 2,500 of these produced. Let's see. I can get the... Yeah, this is a tight plastic. Boy, that is really tight. I really don't want to like cut this whole thing open. I want this plastic sleeve to still work. Boy, this is taking a while. <laughs> Sorry. All right, well... That was really fun to get off there. It took me longer than I thought it would. Um, but you can see on the back here we've got side three of the second disc. Oh, and look, here's the... I'm sure this is all pretty similar to what would have been if you had gotten an actual CD version of this, but just having the bigger art. Okay. Looks like this is individually numbered. Looks like I got number 42. I guess that counts for, counts for something out of however many there are. So. And like I said, side four is just the picture disc, but it is pressed on white vinyl. So what do we get here? Obviously, we get this very nice close-up picture of Detective Pikachu. Really nice stuff. There you can see all the little reflections in its eyes and all that other stuff. Uh, really, really well done. But it's got this nice little booklet. Oh, and it shows everyone who was, um, who was in the orchestra there, which is really, really uh, nice there. Uh, big thanks to all those folks. Um, they do note that, like, the Roundhouse track, that was Electronica, that was done a little differently. Um, but yeah, full-on credits. Some nice little pictures here from the movie. Uh, I need to get around to watching it again. I didn't watch it at Worlds, because they had that weird director's commentary. So, oh, and they got this big poster here. Well, something from this is uh, definitely going into my office. I'm not sure exactly what. I'm going to frame the discs or something like that. I'm not really in, into vinyl for like the um, audio file side. Uh, digital stuff does more or less sound better, but just having this as an official release is really awesome to me. Um, before we take a look at the, the first disc, a nice little postcard here of uh, Detective Pikachu using its magnifying, or I guess it's his, magnifying glass to take a look at stuff. Um, and then... Like I said, white vinyl. I'm not the hugest fan of... Uh, I kind of prefer black vinyl myself, just for the traditionalism of it, I suppose. 
Yeah, nothing too special on there. It's a side one, side two. The big one, obviously, is that side four. They didn't need it, so they put big, fat protective Pikachu. It would have been kind of funny if they had put a bunch of, like, lines from the movie on there. But really nice packaging. Uh, this is like that high-grade, quote-unquote, audiophile vinyl. Um, like 180 grams or whatever. Just really nice packaging, and I hope they do more of these. I'd really love to see one of the first movie pop soundtrack to be a master and then they could probably do like a 45 of the power of one slash the legend comes to life um you know with some of those anniversaries coming up uh be a great opportunity we'll see if they do anything for like uh black friday record store day on this one okay so yeah this is from uh materia collective llc in seattle so this i picked up uh, a while back and it sort of ties into a, some other stuff, but let's see here. I guess one nice thing about Material Collective is they do have these nice little, nothing super special, certainly not as special as what came with the vinyl Detective Pikachu soundtrack. Um, Let's see, but uh, still very much appreciated. Here's the actual thing I wanted. Ah, uh, yes, this is the uh, two CD soundtrack to Time Spinner. So this is a Metroidvania game that came out on the Switch a little while, a few months ago. Decided I would pick up the soundtrack. Um, just wanted to kind of tack that in here, but uh, it's a good game, and I suggest you check it out if you haven't uh, done so already. In any event, uh, thanks, folks. <laughs>